the opportunity, pounced on it. You see the three Toyotas pull up, and there's the two. There is the two lap cars I told you. That was going to be the opportunity that would separate those leaders, make them make a move. Keselowski was spot on with that move. Like it? Wow. Right there, this is the bottom lane, big time. Be three wide. Here we go, Tony. Don't understand what AJ Allmendinger is doing there. I don't know why you'd move intentionally to the middle of the track when you got too wide of traffic. Because that one right there is the lead, uh, the lucky dog. The 23 Bubba Wallace that had to pit. That's a battle for the lucky dog. That was a smart move, bold move, but that's what he's racing. Bubba Wallace and Zane Smith trying to be the first car one lap down and get weighted back around to the lead lap on the caution. Truex by inches over Keslowski. One more lap to the end of stage one. I like that move. Brad Keselowski timed those lappers perfect. And the top lane is boxed in, held up there by Martin Truex. Yeah, they got stacked up. When you get stacked up like that, everybody, you know, is forced to, to hit the brakes and it just accordions and look at the damage done. Coming to the caution flag, Brad Keselowski. Hard owner now, Roush Fenway Keslowski Racing. He won a dual race here a year ago in the team's new debut, and he's going to win stage one as they come to the line and beat Ryan Grace by a car length. First stage win for Keslowski in the Daytona 500, and what a power move.